Planner Bruce Dexter, Kitchen Fair, your authorized Corian dealer, showroom in downtown Wilmer. American Solutions for Business of Glenwood, Minnesota, is your total resource for a wide range of business products and services. If we were building a new house today, we'd run the main drain from the house out to the city sewer using this, PVC pipe. It's been around since the 70s, has a lot of advantages. Smooth on the inside, comes in long lengths, and very few joints to allow roots to get down in between those joints. And we've had more than our share of problems with roots on this job. We had to open up the city sidewalk. We get down into that sewer. Very much like a fiberglass. Okay, and when they get that mixed, how much time have we got? We get approximately 30 minutes to get it in the line. So we don't have a lot of time. Not a lot of time. Now I see he's got his pail up on a scale, so he's mixing accurately? That's correct. All right, so he's got 20 pounds of the resin, and how much more of the hardener? Going to put in five pounds of the hardener, Rich. Okay. And once that happens, we've got to hurry, right? Yes, it hardens quickly. So how do you know when it's mixed enough? The color? The color will turn almost like to a, a greenish blue. Yeah. And the air bubbles will be very minimal. Yeah. And you'll see a deep rich color. And yeah, as you can, can see, he's just about at that point right now. Yeah. So probably another couple of minutes. How do we get the resin into the pipe? We're going to bring it over and pour it into this liner. What's this green sleeve going to do? This is more or less like a guide tube that we're going to use yeah, just so we keep it in there and hold its form and we don't spray any of the air. How are you going to get this liner into that pipe? Brian's going to put that guide tube over the 45. Okay. And we already have the liner hooked up to the air gun. So we're ready to go? And I'm going to start fitting it down slowly until we get it into the fitting. Oh, look at that. It's pushing right down. You got it lined up, Rick? coming? Come, lined up? Here it comes. Wait. There you go. Great. Cool. So it looks like you're only feeding two or three feet at a time. That's correct. You jam that stuff in and seal it in this chamber, and then this chamber pushes the rest out. Right. We induce the air to blow out the bladder, yeah. and then we open the other valve, and it induces air into the chamber to Ingenious. push it out. So what are you spraying on that? Vegetable oil. And what's that doing for you? It's lubricating it so it slides a lot easier through the tube and down through the pipe. Exactly. Now, how far out are we with the liner right now? We're halfway. How do we get it the rest of the way? I'm going to put the rest of this into the chamber. Yeah. We're going to fill it up with air, and we're going to shoot it out, and the elastic will carry it all the way out to the end. I got you. So that elastic's going all the way out to where the sewer is. That's correct. And it's out. Oh, you so just, just saw it pop in the line. Okay, so now we've got that whole liner in there, but it's not in the shape of a pipe. How do we do that? We're going to form it with a bladder. Okay. Okay, so that's the bladder. So what you've got so far is a liner like this that's laying inside the pipe, and now you put this bladder down inside and then fill that with air, which will make this take on the shape of the pipe. That's correct. Gotcha. Good. Okay, we're at the end of our bladder, and I see it's all sealed up, and then there's a rope and a hose. What are you doing with that now? The rope is to pull the bladder back after the curing process is complete, and the hose is to fill the bladder with water to form the liner to the pipe. Gotcha. All right, so we've got to send this all the way to the end now. Yep. Let's do it. Okay, so now our liner, our bladder, our hose, and our return rope are fully inserted. All we have to do is fill it with water. Okay, water's on. We've got our bladder tied off at the end. With air, we drove this all the way out to the end of the pipe, and now we've filled this with water. And that's going to hold that liner right against the inside of the pipe. That is correct. We're bringing in 120 degree water through our supply line right here from our outside boiler. And at which point, it'll circulate through the bladder and come out this black hose, which is our return line, until we equalize 120 degree water temperature throughout the entire. And why do you want bladder. temperature that hot? We want to accelerate the cure time. How long will it take for us to turn into a hard pipe? It's going to take approximately two hours of cure time, and then we'll be ready to pull the bladder. Okay, great. So the bladder comes out. Well, I tell you, we're going to be left with a perfect monolithic pipe, no chance of any roots coming in. 
But you know where it seems to make great sense is any house that would have extensive landscaping, garden beds, a fancy rock wall, a cobblestone driveway. That is correct. And it allows us to put a brand new pipe within a pipe without any mechanical excavation. That's quite a story. Well, Bill, thanks to you and your crew, great job. Yeah.